But let's talk about the one that was going crazy on TikTok, and we're going to go from there. When that happened for you, or let me just say this. When you put the song out, what happened? You put the song out, what okay. happens? Bro, I put the song out, and I closed my phone, and I closed the app, and I don't really see what's going on on TikTok, and we're in a pandemic, so I wasn't really, like, taking advantage of that. Swear to God. Like, I just was closing the app, not paying attention to none of that going on, for real. I didn't really know how to take it in, for real, and it it wasn't really in my face because we was all in the house. Yeah, so, yeah. I didn't really get the experience. And you wasn't on the phone. I wasn't. I wasn't recording too much content or nothing. Like, <laughs> I don't regret nothing because I I know it's all an algorithm and you know God works the way He does. But I never really got to experience nothing crazy because we was in the house when all that was going on. Like, I never even had a, a tour yet. I never toured. Stop playing. With I me. swear, I never toured, bro. Like, I never toured. I I never even uh. I could count on my hand how many shows I've had, though. But, like, I need to do more shows. But when that whole shit was, like, I was finna go on tour right before that whole pandemic, pandemic shit started. And, and then, boom. But, hey, it'll happen. I, um, this year? No, nah, for sure. You got to go this year. But I'm already knowing. But I feel like that shit going to hit me different because it's never really been in my face for real. Yeah, no. So I know sure. it's going. You're trying to prepare yourself. You're going to have some yeah, appreciation I'm going to be <laughs> Hey, <laughs> no for real. Some appreciation tears. No for real, man. Some appreciation tears, but nah, bro. I, I never really got to experience that because I was just, mm, I wasn't, I didn't take advantage of that. Like, I mean, now but I, if I'm still alive, like I feel like it's never late, bro. Nah, nah, it's not. I mean, I, I just, I just really. TikTok wasn't for you. No, it wasn't that it wasn't for me. That's family. It's just like, I don't be knowing how to mm, process it. Not process it. It's more like, I think I just, I don't know. I think it's it's a love and hate thing with the the content. I just need to get, I feel like it's self-sabotage. That's what it is. It's self-sabotage. Like, I know I could be doing this and I could be doing that and doing that. And it's like, well, why aren't you doing this to be doing that? Now? Yeah. You no, know nah, I, mean? I love so, that, bro. Because I definitely, I'm a, I'm a self-sabotager. Yeah. And it's not okay. Like, For sure. Let's turn Okay. Up. It's not. <laughs> not my boy's been cracking this whole shit, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm saying this. I feel like it's just enough. We got to just stop with the talking and just get on the action. I feel that. I bet you in a less than two months, I'll have a song that's viral on TikTok. Like a I'm, month, but I'll know what to do this time. And you feel me? If I ain't working, I'm twerking. But I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna go stupid, bro. But let's talk about that. When you say I'm gonna know what to do, what is like? Obviously, you're gonna create content. I'm but not as letting an off artist, the gas, bro. I feel like it happened, and you were just kind of like, "Whoa, let me put this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do what I gotta do because that's a little too much for me to look at right now." So nothing ever stopped. Like I'm still, everything's still going crazy, but I feel like I need to have my face out there. <laughs> like I, I can't have these goblins as profile pictures. <laughs> I, <laughs> like I gotta show my face, bro. I gotta push the content. I think. I need to push myself, make myself uncomfortable. Right. I don't be doing that. So I'm going to be checking in with you, bro. Yeah. Come on, Every two weeks, easy. I'm going to be like, look, I ain't seen no content. What's going on? I'm, Bro, sometimes I just be needing a haircut. <laughs> sometimes I be wanting to post, but it's like, I need a haircut. <laughs> I don't be wanting to wear a hat all the time. I, mean, I got to get my Vaseline. Like, Lips be dry and shit. Oh, okay. Vaseline. It's all, it's that's really the real. Cool, that's real. the real one. Yeah, you know. We don't use chapstick no more. Okay, I'll tell you. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm Ain't cracking too much. You all right, yeah, bro? You all right? But no, that's real. I mean, I appreciate you saying that because I mean, from a little personal background, to share my story with you, when I had the little TikTok, um, 
my girl was trying to put me on. I'm not really a social media person. Obviously, I do create a lot of content for the for the for the show, mm -hmm. but my personal page, I actually was able to, you know, gather some followers like in a, in a short amount of time. But as soon as I got to a certain, I don't know, I got to a certain spot, and I just stopped. Or got comfortable. Yeah, and I and I just I'm not even gonna lie. I just somebody told stopped. me that comfortability is close to depression, bro. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, comfortability is close to depression. And when I say that, I feel like when you get comfortable, you get you're not really you're not supposed to be doing that all the time. Yeah, partying and playing. Yeah, you I mean, you supposed to be serious. Like, right. why the fuck is you merely rocking on Franklin Boulevard? Supposed to be working, not twerking. At 3 p.m. Like, what the fuck is you on? <laughs> like, 